Hi guys, welcome to The Boutique. I am Tori. And I'm Vicky. And today we're just going to tell you a little bit about how we opened The Boutique, how we came to be what we are today and why we did it and what we're going to do next. Yeah. Um, so I guess the story starts kind of about three years ago. Yeah, this time three years ago. Yeah, we actually met on a photo shoot. We didn't know each other before that. Uh, Vicky was shooting her collection. Yeah. And I was booked by a mutual um, colleague that we both knew uh, to do the hair and makeup for that shoot. And I'd love to say we got on famously and the rest is history, but I don't really even remember talking too much that day. <laughs> I'm really that memorable. <laughs> even it was my shoot. <laughs> uh, but we must have stayed in touch somehow because yeah. um, somehow that summer we uh, started chatting. Um, and at the time I was running the Victoria Millicene accessories um, mostly online and I was looking for a way to kind of reach, um, be able to reach brides um, for them to actually see the collection and be able to try them on. And um, one of the things that I was doing was um, reaching out to hair and makeup artists to um, uh, provide them with packs to take out to see their clients with so that the um, brides could try pieces on while they were having their hairstyles done. So um, thinking back to that photo shoot, I remembered um, Tori and, and, you know, that we'd um, memorably chatted <laughs> at that point and got in touch and we met for a coffee. It turns out we both actually um, happened to live in Fulham at the time, yeah. which is a fabulous place. Yeah. Um, so we met for a coffee, had a bit of a chat. Um, towards the end of that sort of half hour, um, one of us mentioned that way in the distant future we'd love to have our own shop. Well, I think I at the time, so I was running the hair and makeup agency from home and I was also still working a lot as a hair and makeup artist myself. So I was driving all over um, London and the rest of kind of Southeast England doing pre-wedding consultations and then going home and still trying to do all the admin for the agency. So it was becoming quite a lot. So I was already kind of toying with the idea of getting some form of studio space um, for the girls and myself to do trials um, out of. And I think I just made this like off the cuff comment to Vicky, like, oh yeah, this is what I'm thinking of doing. And she kind of just looked at me and goes, oh, yes, I quite like to have a shop Love for have a shop. my accessories. And then not much kind of, I think it was probably the next morning that so Tori sent me a link saying, we, what about this place? <laughs> we totally differ on the story in this place. Oh. I actually claim that Vicky texted me that evening being like, I think it's a really good idea if you're still interested, maybe we should look at it a little bit more. And then I sent her the link yes. to the shop I'd already found that I wanted to go and view with Vicky in the kind of idea of getting a shared space. Um, so maybe three days later? Yeah, three days later. So this later. is the third time we've ever met. We uh, go and view a shop. <laughs> you should know after yes. three years. Um, so we viewed the shop in yeah. Fulham and we really liked it, actually. Absolutely. It just probably needed a little bit too much work done to it. Yeah. For what we yeah. could afford, having that point. just decided on a whim to open the shop together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Commercial property is a completely different um, kettle of fish to um, yes. residential property. Um, yeah, usually you walk in, you get a blank shell, and you need to, um, top to bottom, um, renovate it to kind of what you yeah. need. Um, which, you know, as a sort of just starting out in, yes. um, in the sort of, you know, having a bricks and mortar um, premises was um, a bit daunting for us. So we And at this point, we really didn't know if it was going to be a success, if it was yeah. going to add enough value to our business as to keep it going. So yeah. we wanted somewhere to try it out for a couple of years and then maybe decide after that what our plan was. Um, so we then, maybe a week or so later, yeah. saw this place come up on uh, whichever site you use for commercial property, I can't remember now. And um, it we perfect, really. yeah, came in, we viewed it, we fell in love immediately. Yeah. And then I remember we went to the Starbucks up the road <laughs> and we sat there with a notepad each and we tried to name our new business. and. Um, then we kind of just sat there and hit each other and go, so we're going to we do, do this then, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And, um, um, yeah. Gosh, what, two and a half years later? Yes. Um, here we are. And, I mean, um, hilariously, your husband did then say that you needed to have dinner with me so you could ask yes. some questions because he was asking What's your last name? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> so, um, simple things like that. Yeah. yeah. So we got to know each other pretty quickly. Um, we didn't renovate the shop. It was pretty much ready to go, but we did spend a lot of time the first week kind of painting and installing furniture, building uh, yeah. flat pack furniture. 
which yeah. is a great way to bond with someone. I feel like you learn a lot about someone. <laughs> we have since mastered that. DIY, so yes. we, we think that if ever the bridal business isn't really for us, we might set up a uh, sort yeah. of, you know, girls only DIY, um, yeah. you know, training for a I mean, Trevor's going to have know. something to say about this and <laughs> the amount of time he has to help us out. But we do do everything ourselves, pretty much. We've yeah. always done our own decorating and we're really proud of kind of the shop that we've built here now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's so since, since we opened, opened. <laughs> yeah, since we opened a couple of years ago, um, when we first started, as we said, it was really just a space for me to do the accessories and yeah. to do her um, her trials with her brides, and then we kind of discovered that actually we had this really quite big shop. Um, and way more space than we needed to do just those two things and there were so many more opportunities for us here um so one of the first things we did was uh take in a bridesmaids um, collection and that started doing really well um and you know we get loads of brides kind of coming down from um from kind of various parts of london um and, and further afield and further actually. Afield, actually yeah quite a few traveling down um and really the sort of bridesmaids um is a kind of brilliant addition to the shop we've been yeah. growing that taking on um, new brands um, expanding our collection we've now got probably about 40 uh, 40 different styles which obviously come in you know usually um, cross bros of the brands they come in about 50 colors so you know across that you've got um, and that's is right probably um, <laughs> Yeah, about 2,000 different dresses to choose yeah. from, really. <laughs> Just um, which is pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, and um, then the kind of next big thing for us was um, just at the end of last year was taking on wedding dresses um, and that really kind of for us kind of completes the boutique and uh, makes us um, this like, you know, one destination place where you can come, you know, find your dress find your accessories, book your hair and makeup artist, um, then bring your bridesmaids and find, you know, the perfect bridesmaids dress and all the kind of other gifts that we stock here. You know, we do um, sort of dressing gowns and um, gorgeous clutches for the bridal party, etc. Um, so, you know, it's just this awesome kind of everything in one place. It's all um, kind of hand selected by us. So everything yeah. is along the same aesthetic. Um, everything's beautiful. You know, we wouldn't choose anything here that we didn't of personally um, I think buying is one of the most fun things yes. about having a shop yes. and getting to try on the yeah <laughs> it was actually if I hadn't been a hair and makeup artist buying was what I wanted to go into so I am really excited that we now get to do it um without earning money is a little bit uh, harder but <laughs> Yeah. It's great, I love it. Um, so as the shop has grown, we are no longer a two-man band. Uh, we have actually quite a few members of staff now, which is really exciting and um, is amazing that we are now open six days a week, every week, and on some Sundays as well by appointment. So we really have seen the demand for bridesmaid dresses and wedding dresses grow, and that's been so exciting. So. The most important thing to us, I think, as we grew the business was that we retained as much of our personality yeah. in that as we could, because I think to us it's so personal and this shop, I know you've got two babies that are real babies and I have a fur baby, but we, this is our kind of like work baby yeah, and absolutely. we've put so much time and energy and everything into building it is to what it is today that we wanted to continue to make sure that we were setting ourselves apart from other like kind yeah. of wedding shops and really kind of changing the ball game and being those super approachable people that we're not going to push you for sales and um, we're going to give you genuine fair advice if we think yeah. you need to put your order in this week because we're going to really struggle to get you some dresses in time if you don't we will tell you that yeah. but if you don't want to order that dress you don't have to order that yeah. dress. It's completely up to you. We want you to come here and um, choose something because you absolutely yeah. love it. And that's, you know, we've chosen only things that we think you will love. Yes. Um, yeah. And in the same breath, we're always happy to listen to feedback. And if there was something missing from our collection, we do love to hear that yeah, from our absolutely. customers because we are always trying to strive and do better. The whole kind of retail side of things has been a very sharp learning curve over yeah. two years. And I'm sure there is still plenty more for us to learn at times, but um, I feel like we've done a pretty good job. I'm pretty proud of us and it's been, yeah, really good. I really love the girls that we've got working for us now. They are yeah. super sweet and friendly and again, just full of information. And they're gonna give you that kind of like genuine, honest advice, <clears throat> excuse me, which has always been our kind of go-to yeah. mantra. Like we're gonna be your friend as well as yeah. sell you 
your friend. Perfect resonates. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we want you to come here and have fun and have a good time and feel relaxed and comfortable. Um, and you know, even if you don't end up finding your dress with us, um, you find it somewhere else, absolutely fine. We just want you to have a great experience yes. here. So that you, you know, um, you love the shop, you love coming here, um, you know, and you you enjoyed yourself. Definitely. Um, so what's next, I guess? Um, so we definitely want to grow our wedding dress collection. Yeah. Um, so we've got, at the moment, we've got a couple of brands. Um, very excited to go to some of the trade shows this spring yeah. um, and look to um, buy in some additional brands and some different styles. Um, we want to take in quite a few more um, sort of more modern style wedding yeah. dresses. Um, so I think definitely on the wedding uh, dress side, that's definitely one of our kind of biggest growth areas. Yeah. Um, we're also absolutely looking to expand um, our um, appointments availability because yes. we are getting so booked up uh, which is you know really exciting but um kind of can be frustrating if you need to book at a sort of urgent appointment so um we now have capacity to um run appointments um dual appointments on the saturdays and we're also looking to um, increase our sunday opening hours so that you, we can have the whole weekend available i think the you. important thing that when we are growing the business we still want to maintain the kind of ethos and the luxury of yeah, feeling like you've got the place to yourself, even though now that may not actually be the case. So we've got two changing rooms on two separate floors. Yeah. So you hopefully won't have to bump into each other too much, um, if at all. You're definitely not going to be sharing a changing room with another bridal party. You have your own mirror. You have your own space. You don't need yeah. to show anyone other than the people in your bridal party and your sales assistant the dresses that you're in. Which um, can be, you know, kind yeah. of feedback we've had from um, brides coming here from other places that sometimes they've had to kind of share um, not dressing rooms, you know, behind the curtain, but um, yeah. at least the kind of, you know, the shared space where you're kind of viewing the dress and trying it on. Um, yeah. And that can make people uncomfortable if, um, you know, if you're just wanting a bit more of a private experience. So here we would always strive to make sure that you've got, you know, you've got that sort of one-on-one -on -one private experience yes. in your own space. And your that own the sales assistant. Um, if yeah. we are double booked appointments, there will be two members of staff in. They will be dealing with their own kind of separate bridal parties. So you really are still going to get that one-on-one -on -one attention in in your own private space um, which I think was incredibly important for us to maintain even though we needed to obviously expand because everybody wants to come in kind of on the weekend and there's only so many hours that we can open and it's amazing but um, yeah we're really excited to have that second space so that's been yeah. great. I think we've only been back about a week since New Year's and yeah. um, already you know everything's kind of you know phone is ringing off the hook um, yeah. appointments sort of starting to get fairly fully booked right through February um, so you know it's a great start to the year and we think it's going to be an amazing year for the boutique um, lots of exciting things to happen and loads of brides to meet and um, kind of help them find their you know perfect uh, bridesmaids dresses or wedding dresses um, and just really help them you know kind of along their journey. And I'm still trying to convince Vicky to uh, open boutique number two so if you've got any recommendations of locations of where you'd want us to pop up yeah. next please let me know. That's for next year. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks. <laughs>